Hey, Chris. Mr. C. Mm -hmm. Something tells me this isn't a social visit. It's about the investigation into my brother's disappearance. I wanted to ask you some questions about Harland Richards. Harlan? How does Harlan fit in? Rick was working for him. Uh, Richards admitted that much to me, begrudgingly, but he lied about the nature of the job. And I want to find out what else he might be lying about before I see him again. Mm. Well, don't you two look beautiful. Well, are going out tonight, are you? I'm just going out to dinner with a friend. Oh. And I am entertaining someone here. You Daddy, are. what is your plan? Uh, me? Just a dull business dinner? Mm. Hi, Cruz. Hi, Kelly. Yes. Hey, have you heard anything about Rick? Uh, not yet. There's anything that I can do. Absolutely. I'll let you know. Hey, excuse me, I have a phone call to make. Okay. And I'm running a little late, so I... Cruz! Hey, sorry for the delay. So, Harland uh, lied to you about his connection with, uh, with Rick? Yes. And I think he knows a hell of a lot more about Rick's disappearance than he's letting on. Uh, now, you've done business with the man. You played polo with him, too, I believe. Well, you either work or play against Harland or for him, never with him. We have been adversaries both on and off the field. And objectively speaking, what is your opinion of the man? Objectively or subjectively, it's the same. He's a bastard. His business practices make me look like Ralph Nader. He taints everything he touches, including his recent marriage to a girl his daughter's age, what stories of marrying coming out of that union. Look, if I'd known Rick was planning to work for him, I uh, would have done everything I could to stop him. You have ten minutes to complete your business with me, Castillo. Wouldn't dream of taking longer, Mr. Richards. This is Officer Donnelly. He's assisting me in the investigation. Hmm. Let's get on with it. Richards, you stated that you employed Rick Castillo to run errands and, quote, check things out. That's correct. However, you refused to acknowledge that part of Rick's job was to check out an environmental group called the Blue Sky Brigade. If the purpose of this meeting is to corroborate every detail of the statement... The purpose of this meeting is to get some straight answers. Mr. Richards, do you deny that Rick Castillo became involved with the Blue Sky Brigade on your direct orders. Let's not play games, officers. If, if you have evidence to the contrary, come out with it. Rick Castillo made some notes on a tape recorder for your client. And we have some of those tapes. The job may have included such activities. And what was the purpose of this spying, Mr. Richards? Well, as Mr. Richards explained to Rick, he, he has many irons in the fire business-wise, and he's always on the out lookout to buy a new company or a property. And it's only prudent to ascertain in advance if uh, an environmental group is, is going to be a problem with a particular piece of property or a company. And once forewarned, he just pulls out the negotiations and the problem you know, disappears. It was a common practice. Except in this case, the messenger disappeared, didn't he? Why did you lie, Mr. Richards, about what Rick was really doing for you? We weren't certain that uh, Rick was actually missing. At that point, he might have met a girl on the train and gone off on a holiday. Young men do these kinds of things. But once we blew his cover, he would no longer be of use to us as a spy. So, Mr. Richards was just waiting to see if Rick would turn up. Now that he hasn't, of course, we want to cooperate with the investigation. Do you have any idea where Rick is now? None, but we're very concerned. And when was the last time, Mr. Richards, you actually saw Rick Castillo? Uh, it was the day before he left for the conference. Uh, he stopped by to pick up some cash. And when was the last time Mr. Richards heard from Rick Castillo, Mr. Stritch? Well, Rick called us before he got on the train and said that he'd get in touch the next day. We never heard from him again, so there are no further questions, officer. No, nothing at the moment, but I think you should know that your client is a suspect in the disappearance of Rick Castillo. 
Are you people prepared to charge my client with a crime? You will be the first people to know when we do. Then you'll excuse us. We have other important business to tend to. Oh, absolutely. Oh, but Mr. Stritch, while I'm thinking about it, please do inform your client that he is not to leave town without notifying the police. Inspector Castillo, you've been having a real field day for yourself, haven't you? Using your poor brother as an excuse to flex your muscles. Well, everybody knows that you're in your father-in-law's hip pocket. And everybody knows that Cece would love to bury me. So you go back and you tell him that he will never get that chance. Not now. Not ever. And, Inspector, back off. That's a warning. What if he doesn't back off? Then we use our insurance. We tracked down the source of the plastic explosives they found in Rick's room. Yeah. Black market. Uh, the guy says he remembers the exchange real well because it was a woman. Good looking, blonde. Sound familiar. So, the woman my brother was last seen with was a demolitions expert? Could be. Listen to me, pal. I'm not trying to make anybody a scapegoat. I just want to find my brother. Well, my father doesn't know where he is. Did he tell you that? Yes. Did he also tell you that Rick was working for him outside the uh, demonstration at the chemical plant? Look, I know my father has a reputation of being ruthless when it comes to business. But he would do nothing to hurt Rick. Fine, he wouldn't hurt Rick. Would he set Rick up to make it seem like Rick was responsible for the bombing, do you suppose? No. Then you think Rick took that bomb to the rally? No, I didn't say well, that. Well, which is it? Rick was seen talking to the man who set off the bomb. People are trying to connect him to the woman who bought the explosives. Now, either Rick was being set up or Rick is responsible. Which one do you think it is, Tawny? Rick wouldn't have done that and my father wouldn't have set him up either. <sighs> All right, I'm not trying to make you feel bad. I know you don't want to think poorly of your old man. If he's clean, he's gonna walk. But I feel I should tell you, if he hurt my brother, I'm gonna make him pay. Cruz. Yeah, what do you got? Excuse me. Uh, we finally tracked down a rental agency in Ojai. It's got a late model sedan that matches the description that gas station attendant gave us. Great. Was there a name or address attached to it? <sighs> no, but that's why I think it's the same car, because it was rented in San Luis Obispo mm -hmm. by a blonde woman. She gave a phony ID, name and address, both fictitious. Has the car been clean since it was returned? No, no, they're right there. It's a local business. They didn't want to do the business on weekends, so they haven't even washed the windshield. I left Baines there. He's guarding. Okay, I want to go over the car myself, Michael, so why don't you move me? Sure, that's your way. Uh, Chris, I'm going to go with you. Uh, no, you're not, Tony. Please. I mean, I want to know if anything's happened to Rick. You want to know if something's happened to Rick? Again, ask your father. What are you doing here? Didn't I tell you to stay away? Chris. What? What's that? Then? Get to the right of the seat. Maybe where the seat belt connects there. Yeah, it's this. Hold this. I mean, yeah. It's strapped in. You got it. That's Rick's watch. And that's blood all over it. standard analysis and then uh, get back to me as quickly as I can. Make that a priority, will you? You okay? Yeah, I'm going to stick around here and keep looking. You go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. You know, this is why I told you to stay away. I didn't want you to be here. Yeah, well, I couldn't stay away. I mean, you're not the only one who cares about Rick. Look, 
we're here. I mean, isn't there something we can do? Yeah, actually. Put these on. We're going to tear this car apart, see if we can find something else. What are we looking for? Anything. Got anything? Mm -hmm. I got something. What is it? I don't know. It looks like it's uh it will be dead. You think that's one of the tapes that Rick made? Where's my uh I wonder, what does a man have to do to earn that big a paycheck? I bet it's something pretty 